So to start my ultimate Rodeo build, we're pulling the Jackaroo body off the chassis because the chassis is what we need for my Rodeo. So all my ramp customs, four link gears here. So once we get the body off, we can hopefully start doing the four link rear end. Got to get my Nissan GQ diffs off my mate. Um, yes, I'm using the GQ diffs because I spoke to the engineer and he said if I use patrol diffs front and rear, I can engineer three inch lift and 33s and a GVM upgrade. So we're going with that. Um, yeah, so I have spoke to the engineer. This whole project can be legally on WA roads. So that means the SAS front, four link rear with coil, the chassis extension to match the Rodeo wheelbase because the Jackaroo is a shorter wheelbase. Um, my compound turbos, my manualized auto, and there's a few other things, but it can all be 100% engineered. Spoke to him on the phone and he's happy to sign it off. So this is why we're starting the project. Um, so yeah, we'll rip this body off. So we just got a bare chassis and then we can just start modifying it. So I've hopefully undone everything, where anything important. Um, I'm gonna hook the winch up on the D-Max to the Rodeo and literally just pull it onto its roof. So yeah, let's do that. Well, uh, I must have left something attached because well, the body's still attached to the chassis. Um, I'll have a look and yeah, then we'll split it. So nothing seems to be hooked up, like any body mount wires or those, these things. Um, there's two there, they're not on. So I might just pull it back from this way and hopefully the body stays and the chassis comes down but we'll give it a shot. Hmm. I think it's these bolts. They're actually getting bound up as the chassis moves. So I'll punch those through and give it another shot. One there, it's one there. I found an issue, there's two body mounts right at the back in here. I haven't undone yet, so careful about this.
Well, that's it. Body's come off. And this is our chassis. Start building something cool. So that motor's pretty much going in the bin unless someone wants it. But yeah, I want the gearbox because that's a A340. So I'm going to manualize that. That's gone behind the 4JB one. That's in the Rodeo. And the rest of it, rear diff I'm not using because patrol diffs. But yeah, it's a start. So you're probably wondering why I'm going a four-link rear instead of just using what the factory Jackaroo suspension is. Um, I'll just show you why. So Jackaroo is actually, looks like a three-link. So you got your two bottom arms. So that's one there. Same on the other side. And there's one in the top. That's, a, that's on the center of the diff. So that's your top arm. But then it's got a panard at the rear. So that stops your diff moving side to side. So as you can see here, the panard's mounted on the chassis on the passenger side. If you look at every right-hand drive car, like Patrol 80 series, all that, that panard mount is mounted on the driver's side. That's because it's in relation to the front when you got your drag link at your steering box down to your diff. Your panard has to run parallel with that, so that's why it goes from the driver's side. So even if I did want to keep this rear suspension set up, I'd have to change that panard to the driver's side anyway. So that's like working doing that, where if I'm cutting it off to do that, I might as well leave it off. The only reason why I've got to do that is because I'm sassing the front, so the front's going to have a panard rod. If I was leaving the front IFS, I could just literally just leave this all how it is, and it's a coil rear. So the four link, what it is, is basically so you got your two lower arms, so you got your one there, your one there, and then you got your upper, but your two uppers. But what it does, it goes off in a V, so I'll go from the top of the diff out to there. The other one will go from there to there to the chassis rail and there's no rear panard so that stops your diff going sideways like that and it'll go up and down and as it goes up and down it'll go perfectly straight with the chassis instead of when a panhard like with the diff with the panhard goes up and down it'll actually move in an arc like that with the panhard so yeah now that the chassis is all open and bare i pretty much just start stripping it to what i need which isn't much we just want to keep the gearbox and transfer and um, start cutting it, extending it, and doing all my mounts for the sass and the falling rear. So yeah. So speaking of four links, this is all my bracketry for my rear four links. This is everything. So that's. All upper mounts, lower mounts, shock mounts, everything. It's all by Ramp Customs and all in flat pack. So I'm just going to go through now, give them all a grind and paint them with this weld through primer. So give them all paint with that. Assemble them all. So they'll all be in their little, like, how it should be before they go on the chassis. And yeah, we'll take it from there.
So I've just drilled out this cutting disc. It's actually a one mil disc. Um, I'm running patrol bushes for all my arms. So I'm pretty much gonna use that as a spacer for there. Um, yeah, so patrol bushes. So I'll be cutting all these arms off and make my own arms with the patrol ends. And on top of the diff, which will be for that one, is a heme joints that they're on a thread. So that'll be my adjustability for pinion angle. But then everything else, all the lower arms and the chassis end of through those chassis end for the top arms will be all patrol bushes. that's all my ramp customs mounts tacked up so that's pretty much it until we start cutting this apart really so I'm gonna roll it into the shed the motors gonna come out um, pretty much everything IFS is coming out torsion bars the rear diff only thing we're keeping really is these coil mounts and yeah actually that's about it coil mounts fuel tank two main frames that run up to the front um we car got to extend it too so i gotta to actually cut the chassis extend it i gotta measure the radar wheel base and then measure the center of the hubs of this and make it the same so until i do that that's about it for now and